recently there's been a lot of discussion about iPad kids and I want to add on to it because I was a kid with unregulated internet access. This video could potentially be triggering, but I think it's also really important. I didn't get my first phone till I was 12 years old, but before that I was on iPad, I was on the computer and everything. I played Bubble Box when I was a kid, which is a very popular gaming website. When I was 8 years old, I got a pop-up ad for adult videos and I clicked on it as an 8 year old and I saw all of that stuff. Then when I was 11, there was this anonymous app where you can post things on it. So I posted some things and adult men would message me and then I would send inappropriate pictures back to them. At the time, I had no idea that was weird. I had unlimited screen time and my parents never looked through what I was doing. I talked to them recently about this and they said they didn't look through my stuff because they trusted me, but that obviously did not work. And now this generation that's growing up with all this screen time, not only is it damaging their brains, but they can get exposed to all of this stuff. I became like a public figure slash influencer when I was 13 and my parents had no idea. I kept that a secret for like a whole year. The whole time when I was a teenager, I was always talking to adult men because they gave me attention, but I was also never taught internet safety. Not even in school. So this current generation of children, it's, it just scares me so much. Just a few days ago, Alice walked in on her brother watching Twerking Among Us videos. It sounds funny, but that's just normalizing all of this behavior to the children. If you're a parent, you need to be checking your kid's phone. It doesn't matter how much you trust them. And they're gonna be mad they're gonna be mad at you but you need to teach them if you don't want me as a parent to see it then you shouldn't be doing it and if there is something private that you do need to talk about you need to do it through a phone call not text even for adults I would argue sending pictures of yourself you shouldn't do it because no matter how much you trust your partner you don't know what they're gonna do in the future my pictures from when I was 16 got leaked and if you want to be intimate with your partner, it is so much more meaningful and safe to do it in person. And everything I've talked about is not uncommon. I don't have a single friend that hasn't gone through something similar to me. I just wanted to use all the attention I'm getting from the recent Paper Star videos to talk about this because it's so important. If you're a parent and if you're a minor, please take this seriously. Because I didn't, and so much stuff has happened to me.